what I bought! That seems good. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Googie's Craft Corner. It had to be Googie because this set that I bought didn't come with four R's. I guess I'm Googie now. <laughs> it's raining outside today, so hopefully that will provide this video with some nice ambiance that will be actively canceled out by whatever the fuck I'm doing. So I am lonely. It's still a pandemic, believe it or not. And so I don't really get to see my friends as much as I would like to. I'm also not in school, so I just don't interact with a lot of people. And my solution to that is not to make socially distant plans with my friends or reach out to more people. Um, it's gonna be making sock puppets. This idea popped into my head like a month ago and I texted my friend Ellie about it and her reply was just Oh, broski. And so the time has finally come for me to fulfill that plan and build myself some sock puppet friends. Cause I'm a normal person. I actually tried filming this video like two days ago, but I was having a really bad day without realizing it. And I had to stop because my heart wasn't in it. And then I just like cried for 10 straight minutes. So, um, we're gonna try this again. We have our socks here, a lovely medley of colors and lengths because it's important to have diversity in your friend group. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is make the base for all these puppets, like the eyes and the mouth and arms, I guess. And then from there, we will accessorize and give them personalities. My earrings match my activity today. They're little crane scissors. And I've got real scissors here. How provocative! That was loud. I got as far as making the mouth last time, which is just a piece of felt. I think this is a little bit too small. Let's, let's try it on to see. That's actually not too bad. <laughs> I'm gonna plug in this hot glue gun so that we can actually start putting this together. I gotta go under the desk. Ha ha! I'm gonna let that warm up. And in the meantime, we're gonna make more mouths. I'm gonna make this one just like a little bit bigger. I don't know if that's gonna do anything or why I'm making it bigger, but that's just what's gonna happen. Rarely do I understand the things that I do. I just kind of do them. Oh, that's good. That works. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. That's my entire sense of humor. Is like, I don't know why that's funny to me but it is. For example, this is one of my favorite memes. <laughs> I guess I'm just a sucker for that weird Gen Z absurdist humor. You can't even see it. Now you can. <laughs> That's really weird looking. It'll look less weird once I actually like glue it down. Stop looking at yourself. <gasps> I feel like I should put something under this. Let's do my statistics notebook from high school. Now would be the perfect time for me to brag that I got a four on my AP stats test, but like, I'm not gonna do that because I'm humble. <laughs> it's starting to leak a little bit, which I think is a good sign, but that is not hot at all. While this is continuing to heat up and while we're on the topic of socks, would you like to know what socks I'm wearing today? Well, you're in luck. I'll tell you, I've got one dinosaur sock and one sock with eggs on it because I'm a mature, how do I frame these? I'm a mature adult. I think that's hot enough. I'm not gonna touch it because I, uh. <laughs> that sentence didn't even have an ending. That happens sometimes. I just don't know how to end my sentences because I forget the English language. Is there a way to do this that makes sense without me just applying hot glue directly to my hand? I honestly don't know if there is. We're just gonna go for this. See how much it's shaking? Uh, what it's like to have perpetually shaky hands. Stop looking at yourself in the camera! We're running out of glue on this stick. Need to insert the new stick. How does this look on my hand? <gasps> that looks good. Let's just add the rest of the mouths. I'm not gonna waste your time with this, so. I did it. So we now have three sock puppets with mouths. Now we're just gonna add the eyes and then we will start making them spicy. I got this pack of different size googly eyes. The sticker from the felt is still on here. Do you want it? Here, have it. You look beautiful. Apparently googly eyes must be trademarked or something because Joanne Fabris called these 
wiggle eyes, which is apparently different. I don't know. I'm going to still refer to them as googly eyes because that's more fun. We want the eyes to be somewhat visible from the front. So I think that's a good spot. Where's my gun? <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Oh my God, I love that. This was the best decision I've ever made. These all look a little bit like snakes. Am I crazy? I feel like they kind of look like snakes. Oh, I'm so glad I made this video. <laughs> He's got glue on his eye. I'm so sorry, sir. It's all good. Oh, fuck. I think I said I was gonna put arms on these. Where are my pipe cleaners? <laughs> I'm gonna start. <laughs> He's got wonky eyes. This brand just likes to name their stuff weird things. That was an intelligent sentence. But they've called these chenille stems. We all know what they are. Uh, <laughs> Whenever you put them on, it always looks like they're screaming. Oh no. <laughs> I kind of want to do these the way that they were done in like Gravity Falls, where they had like the little arm sticking out. So I think I might cut holes in this sock because it's officially gone past you can wear these as normal socks territory. So why not stick some holes in there and give this sock some arms? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so filled with joy right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's give him some little hands. Four fingers ought to do it. Let's make another hand for our little puppet boy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, giving him hands makes his arms so much shorter. He's got tiny little arms now. Can I just like glue the outside? I'm getting this dangerously close to my skin. I'm a dummy. Oh my God, just like look at that goofy little grin. I love this man. I did just kiss a sock on camera. That's normal. I wanna see if I can't make the hands a little bit smaller on this one. That's a little smaller. It looks like a little magic wand. Poof. I love how you just move the sock puppet at all and you just hear, all right, slightly longer armed puppet. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Oh, she wants a hug. She wants a <laughs> This one's got some mouth problems, but still looks fantastic. You're beautiful. Get through the sock! No! I did it! Oh! No! It went back in! Ah! Woe is me! Now for this one, this one I'm only gonna do three fingers. May see where this is going? You may not. The sock puppet certainly can see where this is going. Cause eyeballs! <laughs> Don't you just wanna love him? No one can look at that and not feel some semblance of joy. Now we glue them. We glue, we glue, glue. With the basic puppet components complete, it is now time to begin the accessorizing. I think I'm gonna start with the white puppet. See, this sock is kinda old, and there's a lot of fabric here. It's kinda wrinkled. So I'm gonna turn this one into an old woman. Yeah. I have this gray yarn here, which I'm gonna use to make some, some nice hair. Do I know what I'm doing? Not in the leasty bit. I think I'm just gonna do like a bunch of Oh, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna fold it a bunch of times to get like a little bit of a hair tuft. That's something. Oh, it's beautiful. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the ends together. Um, oh, my hands. Oh no, oh, I've made it worse. Oh no. That is a clump of old woman hair. That's so weird out of context. Okay, that is some hair. That is some hair. Undeniable fact, that is some hair. I think this seems like approximately the same length. I didn't really pay attention to how long it was. But let's hope this is adequately similar. Let's see how this looks. <gasps> this looks fantastic. Oh, okay. Maybe not fantastic. Look at this. She's so beautiful. She's got such gorgeous full hair. I think we need two more. Let's just do two more. Why do I, oh, <laughs> why do I keep sticking my hand in the hot glue? Why do I keep thinking that's a good idea? Like it works, but owie. <laughs> I'm realizing I've given the puppet a receding hairline. It's accurate. It's, it's an old woman. <laughs> it's a little lopsided if we don't do one here. So let's do like a shorter weft on the side. We're doing curtain bangs. 
Old lady sock puppets can have curtain bangs. What are you talking about? I have never had bangs in my life. And there was a genuine period of time, like two months ago, where I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get bangs. I didn't, obviously, but I haven't completely taken it off the table. The eyes are kind of off center from the hair, but you know what? Poe Buddy's nerfect. Do I want to cut these? I kind of want to do that just because it looks a little bit weird. It kind of looks like she has dreads, which is not what I'm going for. Remember, when you're cutting hair, remember to cut upward. Why isn't this working? <laughs> snippy, snippy. Snippy, snippy. Yes! Oh my god. I might try to fill in the hairline a little bit with some more yarn. Just maybe like one weft across here. Just because the receding forehead is a little much. It was unintentional. And believe me, I would know a thing or two about having a giant forehead. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Oh my God, look at those luscious locks. Okay, it's a bit of a mess, but you know what? So am I. I think the next step is we're gonna give her some funky glasses because every old lady needs some nice funky glasses. We're gonna use red because those are, that's a funky glasses color. I'm just gonna keep saying the word funky until someone stops me. That's kind of something. If I glue it, it'll be a lot better. <laughs> yes! Just look at these tiny little glasses. Look at them. I'm beautiful. She looks like a librarian in like the best possible way. We all like librarians, right? The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some buttons as accessories. You know what, she's a kooky old lady. She's gonna have some multicolored buttons. She's got a button. <gasps> now she's happy. I'm learning puppeteering. All right, now we're gonna do the green button I've got here. I've got a green button. When will I learn that just saying shit in a weird voice doesn't count as a joke? <laughs> and now a pink button. Glorious. Stupendous. Stunning. Yeah, yeah, baby! Look at that! I'm going to name her Mavis. This is Mavis. Hello, Mavis. Hello. I'm not a ventriloquist. You're just gonna have to ignore this. <laughs> My name is Mavis, and I'm a puppet. Yay! <laughs> All right, the next one we're gonna do is our gray puppet. We are gonna make him into a bit of a dapper gentleman because I said so. Therefore, <clears throat> he's got big hands. All the better to high five you with. Mm. High fives are violent for sock puppets. It's a whole body maneuver. The first step is gonna be to get him some hair as well. I got this nice yellow and white yarn. I thought this would make some nice hair, some nice blonde hair. Where is the end of it? It kind of looks like spaghetti in a good way. I like spaghetti. This hair is definitely gonna be shorter because he is man. Man has shorter hair. All right. We've got a nice clump of hair. <laughs> he looks like he's just wearing a pancake on his head. Let's glue this in the center. Ow! Oh, this went horribly wrong. Why did I, why, why? Ugh. All right, he's a bit of a mop top, but that's fine. We still love him. I'm thinking I'm gonna do something similar where I might like, Cut these little loops. Did I just make this worse? Hope not. Okay, here he is. He kind of looks like he's got straw on his head. He's got very wonky eyes. Oh no. He's got some issues apparently. You know what every dapper gentleman needs in addition to a kick-ass haircut? Is a nice fancy mustache. This is a very thick mustache. I have made this too thick, I think. Do we want to do this? Can I try this? This work better? Than the way that I've been doing it. Okay. Yielded slightly better results. There's just shit falling off all over the place everywhere. Wee! Whoa. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> it's hard to see his eyes. That's how luscious his mustache is. For his outfit, I think I'm gonna give him a little bow tie with this red felt that I have, just so that, you know, he's dressed up all fancy, like he deserves, because he's perfect. 
He's my perfect little dapper gentleman boy. Actually, my perfect little dapper gentleman boy is Arthur. I mean, just look at those mutton chops. He just looks like a distinguished Victorian gentleman. How does one make a bow tie? I do not know. That's just, this is bad. This is just a, this is bad. <laughs> Oh, it just keeps getting more and more misshapen, I feel like. Every time I try to fix it, I just make it worse. Okay, that's a bow tie. You gotta admit, that's a bow tie. Let's just put him back on. Oh my God, he's amazing. Now let's, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. The last touch is going to be when I was fight. <laughs> I'm very easily distracted. When I was in the craft section and I was getting all these supplies, there just happened to be the greatest thing I've ever seen, which is this tiny top hat. <laughs> and it's gigantic, but you better believe he's getting this top hat. Gotta take this tag off first. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Wow. Spiffy! I might attach a little string to it just so that it stays on his head. If he wants to move around. Oh, like that. Let me do that, I'll be right back. Shaboom. It has a little string. Better affix the, oh Jesus. He has better the. <laughs> Did I make this too tight? <gasps> Wait, I forgot. He can't, oh, what a boob I am. Okay, he can still talk. It's just that his range of motion is a little restricted. So if he wants to, scream he's got to take the hat off Ooh, now he's got sort of like a windswept look i'm going to name him gordon this is gordon hello my name is gordon you look very nice doesn't he look nice tell him he looks nice he looks fantastic i love him now it's time for our last sock puppet oh wow Hat hair alert. So this one, I'm gonna do a little bit differently. For one thing, we're gonna need some more eyes. I refuse to explain anything. We're just going with it. Whoa, we gotta get more sizes. Do these come sticky? They do. It's a miracle. Oh, thank you for your help. If you're wondering what's going on in my head, it's nothing. There's like nothing going on up there. This bad boy can fit so many eyes on it. Procuring googly eyes with only one hand is definitely difficult. Oh, this is so perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. In my mind, I just had this idea of a sock puppet just riddled with eyeballs. Just way too many eyes. And that dream is coming true. This one is by far the noisiest puppet. <laughs> this is beautiful. So many eyeballs, so little time. I have like a lot of pipe cleaners in various colors left over, and I'm not sure if I wanna do more arms or like some antenna. At the very least, I wanna add another set of arms. So let's do that. I think I want bright yellow arms. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll fix that gravity problem with some glow. Second pair of arms. Yes! Oh my God, I did, uh, I forgot that I bought hair for this puppet. We'll do a few strands, how about that? Besides, aliens are rarely depicted with hair. The way that this yarn works is it like moves from one color to the next. So I think I'm gonna take some strands from different colors and then attach them. <laughs> we have one of every color. Let's attach this. Ah! This is one psychedelic puppet. All right, I think that is all the hair that I'm going to add to this puppet. I might call this done, possibly, maybe. Is this it? Have I completed my sock puppets? I'm going to name this puppet Zorp. <laughs> Hail Zorp. Hail, Hail Zorp. Zorp. Possibly after the lizard from Parks and Rec because that's an extraterrestrial creature and I can't really come up with another 
extraterrestrial name. So this is Zorp. <laughs> All right. I think I might be done. Too bad I don't have a third arm, but let me do my best to model them. One minute, 37 seconds later. Yes, I did it. Unfortunately, I can't make Mavis close her mouth. Just, <laughs> there we go. Here are our lovely sock puppets in completion. We have Mavis, we have Gordon, and we have Zorp. They're all fantastic. I love them all very deeply, and I don't know what else to say. Hello, and welcome to the Marionette Yesteryear. Today, we will be sneaking a peek at a fascinating event of bygone eras, while our guests ferociously vie for the desirable title of Best History Person. I, of course, am your host, Zorp. What? This is Poppycock. Glad to see everyone so enthusiastic. Shall we begin? My grandson drove me here. Where is he? I find this petty competition beneath me. I have soirees to attend. Yeah, we're not doing this. What? What are you doing here? <laughs> just in case you had any doubt of what my inspiration was for this video. Well then, folks, that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, give it a subscribe, give it a comment. You know, it's up to you, but have fun. <coughs> On behalf of Zorp and myself, I would like to thank you for 1,200 subscribers. It's awesome that people seem to enjoy my content. Uh, mostly my cottage chore video. It's fine. <laughs> I'm very flattered and honored that you subscribed, so thank you very much. I gotta clean up all the shit that's on my desk now, so adios to you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!